am continuing the deck building series by building a pathway. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a boardwalk without digging holes or putting concrete in the ground. Let's get into it. It is warming up in Texas, so I'm bringing out the portacle to blow cold air on us while building this boardwalk. I simply have to fill it up with hose water, then we'll be working in comfort for the rest of the day. I start off by setting my first platform in place to get an idea on its placement. And this way I can come back with a leaf blower and blow off the areas where the end of the platform will land. The areas important here are the feet. And this is where I'll create a footer by first dumping gravel in a pile, then tamping it down. After getting it compacted, I place a tough block on the area, then work a little bit to get it level. And this just takes a few times of setting it in place, testing it for level, and then beating it some more in the direction it needs to go. Go ahead and take your time because getting it level really does matter. Oh, perfect. And then on these platforms, you can just batch them out. You can see it's very simple two by four construction all the way around to where you can build this frame and then you can attach some runners or some ears on either side. And then these can just be waiting in the wings so that you can pull them and add each step as you're going. Now Jacob is holding it in place to the staircase as I use screws to secure it. It makes life much easier if you pre-drill holes like these. With the back secure, now we can put a level on it to get an exact measurement on what the front feet need to be. Since I'm working on a slope, the left and right feet will be different measurements. The front foot is just a two by four cut to a height. However, I went ahead and added on a second two by four on the back side, which requires a notch to be taken out. Once I slip this into place, I screw both together. And just like that, that is one platform in place. Now it's just a rinse and repeat operation. You can build three, you can build 30. All right, now let me talk about these tough blocks I'm using. I think these things are amazing and I wish I would have known about them sooner. They're very lightweight, they're stackable, but they have a load rating of 1,700 pounds per block. So while I'm building a boardwalk with mine, these would be perfect for an entire deck or a shed or anything you need a foundation for. They have this really cool design to accept any two by material as well as four by material. And that versatility is great for building the framework for really any Anything I listed above. In this case, we're using one portion of the block to hold a single two by four, then using another portion of the block to hold two two by fours together, which creates a four by four. If you have flat ground, these would allow you to have an incredibly low profile deck foundation while getting to skip all of the concrete and digging. After getting all of the platforms connected to each other and leveled, next is to apply the deck boards. Since I'm coming off my staircase, I am matching the direction of those boards. I'm using cutoffs from the rest of my deck project so they are slightly different lengths. I use a spacer on the back to bump off the boards from the skirting slightly and then screw them in. Again, I am using stainless steel screws here to prevent staining when the hardware gets wet. Yes. After securing the front, I pop a chalk line to get a straight line to cut. And I love this locking feature on the crescent chalk line. It allows me to easily hook one side and then lock and apply enough tension to pop the line without having to call over a second hand. When I'm done, I move the front wheel back to the unlock position and then I can wind it up. Next, each board can be cut to length. Another way to do it is to cut your boards to length beforehand at a miter saw. You can batch cut them. If done this way, you can use a combination square to set the first board accurately. The six inch square has become a staple in my bag over the course of this deck build. As long as you set the correct distance from the side as well as the front, then all of the others can just simply be lined up to it. After repeating that on each platform, next I attach the risers. I do this with a 15 gauge nailer. By the way, battery nailers is a game changer for job site projects like this. 
I've chosen Western Red Cedar for this entire deck building project because it's perfect nature for being outside. Naturally, it is rot and insect resistant, so it gives added life to any outside project just as it comes. When attaching these boards, I did leave a little extra overhang so that the front will cover up the ingrain of the sides. So just keep that in mind if you're doing a project like this. Next, I want to cover up the void on both of the sides. This is a little tricky because the ground is so sloped, but I'm gonna be doing the same scribing method that we did on the skirting of the deck, which is keeping it roughly two inches from the ground, but following the slope. To do this, I use a circular saw to make taper cuts. Then put in some blocking to give me something to nail it into. Now I can attach these tapers. Personally, I think they look pretty cool. The coloring of Western Red Cedar has to be one of my favorites. But as naturally rot resistant as it is, let's go ahead and add on a stain to give it even more durability. Actually, I'm applying a primer first. I'm using Hydro Oil Primer by Vermont Natural Coatings. And this is gonna provide a more even surface for the stain while also stabilizing the wood, which will of course extend its life. I let that sit all day and overnight, then come back with an exterior deck stain. I'm sticking with the Vermont Natural Cody line and using their Terra Plus in the color of cedar. I love how even the color came out, but more than looks, this stain provides waterproofing protection and UV stabilizers. It also is proven to have lasting protections against mold, mildew, and moisture. Just like that, I have a completed pathway. So if you're building a boardwalk this size, then I hope that this has helped you out. Wood is a really great alternative to pavers or stone if you're needing a boardwalk, something this size we did in just under a day. Uh, don't forget that I have another video that I've, I've done out of wood as well that has a completely different method, but these tough blocks are a complete game changer. So I wish I would have known about them when I built that other boardwalk. Now you have two different methods, either a straight one or a stair step down one. I hope that you have enjoyed this. Uh, this deck is really coming together. I hope that you guys are enjoying it. I am absolutely having a blast building it. I'll see you on the next video.